Hey Scooby fans, welcome to another episode of Planet Scooby Reviews. This week we are covering a scrappy episode, so please don't unsubscribe if you're a scrappy hater. Now, I'm not a scrappy lover myself, but I have to admit, it's not really due to the character of scrappy, but rather the shift from mystery to slapstick comedy. However, without the shift, Scooby-Doo would have been cancelled in the 80s and it would have been possible that we may have never gotten the amazing episodes of Mystery Inc. or Be Cool Scooby-Doo or the awesome 90s videos uh, that went straight to DVD such as Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island or Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost plus many of the other Scooby-Doo movies that have followed in the meantime. So I think it's important to explore these episodes and because... While they aren't great, they still are a lot of fun. And I'm sure a lot of people out there really do love them. So that's why I'm also reviewing them. This week we are covering Punk Rock Scooby-Doo. This aired during the Scooby-Doo Richie Rich Hour. The Scooby-Doo series has always been a fan of rock and roll. From the folky chase scenes of the first few years, to the Diabolical Disc Demon episode, to the Hex Girls, to... Kiss, meeting Scooby-Doo. The writers have always embraced rock and roll music. This episode is no exception. Written by Bruce Malick and airing on October 24th, 1981, punk rock, while not at its height, was still going strong with bands like X, The Ramones, TSOL, The Plasmatics, The Dead Kennedys, who all released fantastic punk rock albums that year. If you'd like to own this episode, it's available on Amazon on the two DVD set called Scooby-Doo 13 Spooky Tales for the Love of Snack. I'll leave a link below that you can click on if you want to buy it if you're interested. Let's get on to the review. At the start of this episode, Scooby, Shaggy, and Scrappy are at a packed stadium to see a Battle of the Bands concert to determine who the best rock band is. We also discover that not only are they spectators, but they plan on competing in the concert and Scrappy wears his best Devo hat for this set. <laughs> Meanwhile, Scooby is a little frightened by the audience around him. The first punk band up for the night is called the Moon Mashers, and they have an outer space theme. During their act, we see a ton of fireworks, and then a flying saucer appears above the stage, and everyone considers it a prop. The truth, however, is that it's an alien from the planet Plutonion, and the alien just looks like Scrappy Doo. The alien sees Scrappy and he thinks that Shaggy and Scooby are two ugly monsters that are holding Scrappy captive. So the alien attacks flying his flying saucer towards them. Running out of the stadium arena and into the backstage tunnels, the gang seeks shelter. They also kind of get separated. The alien Scrappy is such a perfect doppelganger that Scooby mistakes him for Scrappy and picks him up as the alien Scrappy comments on how Scooby is a monster. Scooby thinks... Scrappy is talking about another monster in the room. The Scrappy alien zaps some machinery alive with his plutonium powers plutonium power. and brings a video camera to life. Scooby carries the alien Scrappy back to Shaggy and Scrappy and they soon figure out that the alien Scrappy is an alien when he turns a coat rack into a monster with his plutonium powers. The gang run away only to appear on stage just in time for their set as Scooby and the Splats. Scooby and the Splat? Initially, they are booed by the crowd, but the alien Scrappy appears and blasts Scooby's guitar to life. In an attempt to control the guitar from getting out of hand, Scooby is applauded by the crowd. Scooby ends up destroying a drum set as the guitar gets out of control and they have one final face-off with the alien Scrappy, which ends up destroying the entire stage. The crowd goes nuts for this and Scooby, Shaggy, and Scrappy are declared the winners of the contest. Also during the scuffle, Scrappy kind of befriends the alien and all four accept the Battle of the Bands trophy together. The alien Scrappy then zaps the trophy to life and flies off with it in a spaceship, leaving everyone dumbfounded about their extraterrestrial experience. You'd think the double dose of Scrappy would make this episode a bit annoying if you're not a big Scrappy fan. But this episode was a lot of fun. It was really cool seeing all the punk rock outfits and the added alien doppelganger was was funny. I remember watching this as a kid and I enjoyed it. And this is just, you know, an episode for kids. So in context, in the grand scheme of things, I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Anyway, thanks for watching and make sure to hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already have. 
It really helps me out. Also, if you have any episodes you'd like to request, leave it in the comments below. Make sure it's Scooby-Doo episodes though, please. This is not Planet Saved by the Bell. And this wraps up another mystery, so until next week, stay curious. And this place is a mess. There ain't no difference between a flying saucer and a time machine.